Howdy YouTube. Today we're taking a look at how to enable and use the crossband repeat function on the ICOM 2730A dual band transceiver. So let's check it out on K5ATA ham radio. Alright folks, so as we get started, do me a favor. Hit that like button, hit subscribe. If you think this is something that other hams would benefit from, share it for me. It helps us out and helps other hams out too. So let's get started. Okay, so crossband repeater on the ICOM 2730A. It is built into the radio, but it is not activated by default. So in order to activate that, you have to do a little, I guess it's kind of kind of yoga here. What we have to do is let me see if I can zoom that in a little more. Okay, with the radio off, you need to push and hold the main button on each side and the monitor button here, all while turning the radio on. And if you're really skilled, you can scratch behind your left ear with your right big toe at the same time. So push, push, push. And that should have done it so let's look and see we go to menu we should now have an extended menu in here okay and go into that by pressing the enter key Go to others. Okay, and we now have <clears throat> what's listed as RPTM. Okay, that is your crossband repeat. So it is now activated in this radio. So to get into that, what you do is you hit that, and your only options there are start, and I guess you can set a hang time in there. Okay, we're not going to start it yet because I want to go ahead and show you how to set this up and explain a little bit as to how it works if you're not familiar with what crossband repeating does okay so the way crossband repeat works is you have two sides we have the 440 side and the 2 meter side or the 70 centimeter side if you want to call it that okay and the way it's going to work is your radio so if you have a Baofeng or whatever you know dual band radio um, whatever radio you have you're going to set it up to transmit on whatever frequency you have set here. Okay, so let me go ahead and squelch that. Okay, so we, for example, if we set this up to be on 440, okay, all of your handheld radios would set to transmit on 440. Okay, so when you key it up, it's going to transmit on 440. It's going to hit this this radio on this side and it's going to immediately retransmit itself in this case it's set at 147.33 okay that's just the frequency it was on um, it's actually set up to go to a repeater it's okay but you, you would you can have this be a frequency or a simplex frequency as well so all of your handheld radios would be would be set to receive on whatever frequency you have on this side so that way, in, a, in effect, you have your own repeater where your 5-watt radio is actually taking advantage of this 50-watt radio and retransmitting everything. Okay, so <clears throat> let's, let's turn off this uh, duplex and all this stuff. Okay, so let's change this to 146. and it's actually got a tone we're going to turn that tone off for... okay so now I have it set <clears throat> where it's going to transmit on 440 440 megahertz and it's going to retransmit on 146.52 megahertz that way you know you're not going into repeater or anything you're basically just you have your own repeater um, you can actually link this so that 
you transmit on 440, and then this side right here you have set onto a local repeater. So in effect, you can repeat your repeater and transmit with your little 5 watt handy talkie. Hit this radio, retransmit at 50 watts, and maybe hit a repeater, you know, 20, 30 miles away. And then that repeater, in effect, retransmits your signal. And so you pick up another, you know, 30, 50 miles, whatever kind of footprint that repeater has. So, in effect, you can use this to get a very large footprint out of a very small radio. Okay, now, with this, these frequencies already set up, remember, this side is the uplink side, this side is, I guess we'll call it the downlink side. Okay, to activate it, what you do is you menu, remember we're going to go to our extended menu in here okay and enter oops remember it's in the others okay enter repeater and then we're gonna hit start okay when you hit start it says start and you know it has this little question mark saying are you sure you want to do this turn it to yes and hit it and you'll see now we have on both sides it says RPT for repeater. So what we're doing now is we are in crossband repeat mode. So anything it gets at 440 megahertz is going to retransmit at 146.52 megahertz. Okay. Now something to note: this radio no longer works as anything else except a crossband repeater. Okay. So you can't like decide all of a sudden, hey, I want to call my buddy over on this repeater and you know, look and see. Also, one thing to check is, you know, if you hop in the truck or something, you go to talk on your radio and nothing's working, make sure you didn't accidentally leave yourself in crossband repeat. Okay, uh, a couple things to note. If you're leaving this in a vehicle that's not running and you have this set at 50 watts, it's going to drain your battery. Now, this is that radio that Natural State Overland hooked me up with to review. Um, I can tell you now, if this is sitting in Brad's truck, it's not going to kill his battery. He's got solar. He's got, like, two or three blue-top batteries running. I mean, he's got a setup. It's not going to kill his battery, but make sure that if you're going to set it up this way, you don't go back to a dead battery. Okay. Now, to get out of crossband repeat, all you need to do is go into menu. Okay, and the only option you have is exit. And it says no, or yes. Okay, and we're now back to normal repeater use. Okay, so that's really all it is for how to set this thing up for crossband repeat. It's not difficult. Um, I do wonder why ICOM left that disabled on this thing, <clears throat> and you know why they made you have to do a little origami of the fingers and whatnot to turn it on. But once it's on, it's on, and it you don't have to do that every time unless you'd like to do a hard factory reset or something on your radio, then you'll just have to re-enable it again. But it's really not that difficult. It's just remember, it's both main buttons, the monitor button, and hit the power button. And it really doesn't give you any indication that it worked until you go into the menus to see that. So... That's it. That's how to do crossband repeat on the ICOM 2730A. Any questions or anything, comment below. Um, we do appreciate it. Y'all hit like, hit subscribe. It helps the channel out, and we hope to see you on the air. 7-3.